everybody, and welcome to Ice Castle Arena today for the game between the Upper St. Clair Panthers and the Hempfield Spartans. My name is Bob Bloomer. I'm here with Bob Cook. We're here in replace of Kurt Carruth, who couldn't make it tonight. Uh, welcome. Bob, what do you think about tonight's game? Well, it should be interesting because the uh, Panthers haven't had a game in a few weeks, so it, uh, it should be interesting to see whether the uh, layoff affects them or not. We'll, we'll get a quick start here and see whether they come out fast or not. Uh, as we sit here today on January 31st, Upper St. Clair is 8-5-1 uh, and one in fourth place in Division one, or in Section 1. Uh, the Hempfield Spartans are 1-12-1, one, and, one, uh, and they're bringing up the cellar in Section 3. Today, uh, starting goal, as usual, is uh, senior Mike Ambrose. Uh, and we're waiting the drop of the puck. All right, we're back at it. Uh, we're ready for the drop of the puck. Mike McCombs will be taking the drop for the Panthers in number 97. We'll be dropping it for the Spartans. Sean Allenbaugh to Austin Cassidy. Panthers get the puck deep in the zone. Cassidy to Allenbrand. Austin Cassidy. Casey Colcomb hit by, uh, that was, who was that? Logan Stork Logan picked Stork. it for the Panthers. Uh, we got a face off in the Penguins, or the, uh, Panthers then. <laughs> Sorry about that. We've got Mike McCombs playing center, Logan Stork on left wing, and Austin Cassie on right wing. Uh, Sean Allen Brand and Casey Colcomb are the defensive pairing. Logan Stork behind the net, feeds Allen, Allen Brand. Shot, score. Stork to Allen Brand. I think that Mike McCones will probably get an assist on the faceoff. A nice shot by Sean Allen Brand there. Oftentimes you see the uh, defenseman want to take that big wind up, but all Sean did was just a quick snapshot, get it on goal, just inside the far post, and it's one nothing Panthers. So much for the rust. Hempfield's got the puck, getting it deep in the zone. Will McVay to Connor Ackerman. Ackerman's got Boyd coming down the middle. Blind pass to Jake Buschetti. Matt Boyd wins the pucks. Dumps it down to Ackerman behind the net. Connor tried to pass it off the back of the net to himself. Stretch pass made by the Spartans. Pat Lydon digs the puck out of his own end. Hits Ackerman. Ackerman to Boyd. And there's Mike Ambrose with his first stop of the night. Know what? There'll be no icing. Panthers have a nice four check going right there, Bob. That was Nick Baradone who stole it there. Matt Woomer moves it up to Baradone. Baradone's got, oh, gave it back to Cook. Cook's got Matt Cook in the corner. Passes it out to Patrick Woomer, one times it back in the corner. This is Patrick's maiden voyage on varsity tonight. Dan Crockett has been playing a lot of games as it chips the puck into the corner. Woomer, uh, thought he had Crockett coming across there, just didn't connect on the puck. Looks like we've got a back, defensive backfield of uh, Woomer and Woomer. Matt and Patrick, number 65 for the Spartans, gets a shot off tip. And uh, Mike makes the save, and we'll get a face-off in the St. Clair end. 
Sounded like uh, the Spartan shot might have hit the near post there, but it looked like Mike had it pretty li well lined up and was covering the short side. Panthers were a little bit sloppy in their own zone, let that guy come out of the corner uh, without much of a challenge. And the problem with games where you, you're the hot, where you are supposed to be the uh, prevailer, sometimes you forget to take the body, and it becomes a, a skate and chase kid, and before you know it, the puck's in your own net. Hempfield uh, had a couple chances, even though they haven't controlled much of the puck, they've had a couple chances. Now it looks like Sean iced the puck in that situation. The head coaches for uh, Upper St. Clair are Dennis Kirstein and his assistants Dan Jacobs and Tim Chiapetta, who's not here tonight. But uh, my understanding is uh, Tim is over in Europe for business. McCombs back to Allen Brand. Sean's going to dig it out. He beats his man behind the net. Austin Cassie brings the puck. He regroups. Gets the feet moving. Shot on goal by Sean. So it's 1-0 Panthers about five minutes into the uh, opening period, four minutes into the opening period. Bob, what do you think about the rust? Well, it, uh, the first shift looked pretty good, but since then they really haven't challenged the Spartan goalie. That shot there is pretty routine, and the uh, Spartan goalie gloved it and held on. Logan Stork cycles it behind the net to Cassidy. McCombs walks out, takes a shot. Oh, and Logan got robbed in front. The puck was loose, just couldn't, just couldn't put it in. He pounded it inside the... Uh, uh, into the pad of the defenseman. So we got uh, Ronald McVeigh, also known as Will McVeigh at the point, with Patrick Lydon. Lydon takes a shot on, on net. Boyd has the puck, cycles it low. Connor Ackerman, Connor has the puck behind the net. Brings it out high, circles around. Oh, what a pass to Pichetti. Oh, who didn't get that shot off? Look out here. Looks like we got a delayed off sides of, here comes Matt Boyd with full head of steam. He leaves it for Ackerman. Ackerman's shot did not get through. He needs cycles it low. Boyd again. Ackerman's in the slot. He sees him. Nice pass. Ackerman's in alone. Oh, what patience. Connor held that puck for it seemed like an eternity. Banged it off the pipe and it was finished by Pacchetti. Yeah, nice, Two not the Panthers. Nice, nice patience there by Connor Ackerman to fake the shot, take it wide, pull the goalie out. Uh, Tommy Anthony's the goalie for the Spartans and really was left with no help there. Not only was Connor all alone, but nobody uh, picked up Jacob Pochetti on the rebound. Matt Cook has the puck. Feeds it back to Mac Woomer. Over to Sean Allenbrand. Here come the Spartans. Got a, they had a player split the net. Oh, what a save by Allenbrand. Matt that, Wilmer chips it over to the corner. Who was that player? That, that was, was number 97, Andrew Coziera. Matt Wilmer and Matt Cook are battling the court. Number tw 24 comes through for the puck. That is a Avery, Avery Lavella. Lavella. Let's try to get a little bit of these names out here. Back to defenseman number seven, who's Zach an easy. Wilmer off the ice. They call an icing. Uh, yeah, the, uh, try to clear the puck. The Spartans are led by number 25, Channing, Channing Gorsak, who has 10 goals and 11 assists in 11 games played. And then number 97, Andrew Coziera, second in scoring with eight goals and nine assists. So look for those two to be the guys that generate much of the offense for the Spartans. Matt Woomer gets the puck behind the net, moves it over, number five picks it off. There, this has not been a physical game, which is one of the worries you have when uh, you're playing a team that you're... 
Patrick Woomer dumps it in. Logan Stewart on the forecheck. Dan Crockett stops it. Matt Woomer the shot. It's tipped in front. Goes wide of the net. Logan Stewart gets the puck. Plays a little bit of the body. It's double team in the corner. He gets help from, from Mike McCombs. Oh, Mike McCombs makes a risky pass there. Woomer to Stork. Logan Stork's got a two on one on two here. He goes wide. McCombs is going to the net. Oh, nice save by the goalkeeper. You could see the uh, the speed there of the Panthers. Uh, Stork, McCombs, Crockett, uh, just a little too much for the Spartan defense, but Tommy Anthony made the save when he needed to. Boyd's line's out there with Cassidy uh, and Ackerman. This is a line they used a little bit earlier in the year, but they've gone way to the uh, last few games. Seems like they're bringing it back. Allen Brand, shot. Ackerman. Cassidy misses the, the uh, net. Number three. That was a weak shot on goal by number three, Justin Bartis. Yeah, it looks like the Panthers there uh, loaded up a line. Uh, we saw that earlier in the year quite a bit where Matt Boyd would center Austin Cassidy and Connor Ackerman. Uh, but it seems like the last few games they've been split up a little bit more. Now he's rotating around a little bit more. Here comes Cassidy. He's got two Goodbye. on Goodbye. Oh, nice save Just by Tommy Anthony. Got Logan Stork going in the corner. Back to Casey Colcom. Casey's walking across. Feeds it back to Stork in the corner. Stork has his centering pass blocked. Tries to center it again. Uh, the puck reflect, uh, deflected off number 33 right to the stick of uh, Austin Cassidy in front. And he buried it. We've, uh, we've seen Austin score quite a few goals that way. Uh, he really can elevate that shot very quickly. Not much effort. And uh, he is, uh, I recall him having a hat trick against Peters Township earlier in the year with a lot of shots just like that. Here comes a little three on two for the, uh, the Spartans. Number three gets it in the corner, centers it. Saved by Ambrose. Oh, a little bit, uh, a little bit of action helping, happening in front of the Panthers net. It looks like the net came off the, the bearings. Uh, boring, excuse me. Number three, Justin Bartis, uh, again, is putting a little bit of uh, heat for the uh, Panthers goalie. It looks like, uh, if anybody, Bartis has got his uh, legs moving for the Spartans. Ackerman behind the net. Oh, just as I said, that Bartis falls down and goes in the corner. It's got Ackerman. One on three. Hit the pipe. Yeah, Connor flipped the backhand. Hit the. It looks like he hit the crossbar, and it bounced right to Boyd, and Boyd took a shot, and and that save was made. Well, you can see the uh, Spartans are struggling a little bit in their own zone with the Panthers' speed here. Got Will McVeigh in the corner, dumps it low for. Matt Boyd. Matt Boyd's holding the puck along the boards. Attempts to defeat it. Once again, here comes uh, Justin Bartis out. Feeds the puck to number 17, uh, Michael Donofrio. Offside. Panthers change it up. You know, talking about Austin Cassidy scoring, uh, he's presently ranked number eight in the PIHL and scoring with uh, 20 goals and 14 assists for 34 points. Patrick Woomer moves it up to Nick Barrett and he gives it over to Matt Cook. They're fighting for it. Matt Woomer dumps it in. And Dan Crockett gets it deep. Good back check there by Matt Cook. Saves a little uh, odd man break. And he gets it deep. Nice play by Matt Cook. 
Dan Crockett ru runs the uh, Spartan player into the boards. Uh, and Matt Cook joins him in there. Can't play with the puck at the blue line, guys. Patch Boomer's got the puck behind the net. Did, did not uh, look before he threw it. And Dave Crockett saw it's delayed off sides. And here come the Spartans. Uh, it's one on three. John Allen Brand gathers the puck. Behind, makes a cross ass place, pass, which is not connected. Casey Colcom keeps it in for the Panthers. Number seven, Zach Izzy's behind the battling Jack Gabbitt behind the net. Leaves it over for number 65, William Hayden. And the puck gets cleared out to the zone. Here comes number five, Tyler Hendrick. Uh, shoots a shot just wide. Picked up by Gavitt. Cassidy McCombs breaking out. Number five, uh, Hendrick once again with the puck. We're running around a little bit on our own end, uh, Bob. Yeah, it got a little sloppy there in the neutral zone. It all started when the Panthers had a chance to get the puck in deep. They uh, they turned it over just inside the blue line, and the next thing you know, the Spartans had a pretty good uh, scoring opportunity, but Mike Ambrose made the glove save and uh, got a face off to get a line change. Connor Ackerman. Looks the defense, tries to dangle around him, was un unable to do it. Logan Store keeps it low. John, John began to pinch there, and they shot it right to him. He gets a shot on, on net. Logan Store dumps it low all the way to the corner to Connor Ackerman. Connor tries to walk it and stuff it short side, but is unable to do it. Number 17, uh, Michael Donofrio has the puck. He turns it over. John Allenbrand gives it to Connor Ackerman, who ooh, takes a nice hit from number 17. Donofrio. We've had a penalty free game so far. Oh, what is that was a nice save by Very the keeper. Very nice save by, by Tommy Anthony. Connor, Connor thought he could wrap it around, and uh, Anthony got back to that post just in time. Comes Connor one more time. Oh, he's. Connor made a nice move, avoid the double check, but just couldn't get the puck to go in the net. Well, it seems like uh, Tommy Anthony has Connor's number right now because he's had a variety of chances, hit two goal posts, and uh, Tommy Anthony's made a few big saves on Connor. But the way Connor's moving his feet, you would expect he'll get a, a few more good opportunities before the night's out. Number three, Justin Bardis gets the puck, dumps it behind the Will McVay. McVay fights him off for the puck. Kicks it to himself. And Matt Cook throws it out to center ice. Hempfield also has a pretty short bench. I think they have 11 skaters. At this pace, uh, it's going to be tough for them to keep up the whole game. But es you never know. Especially if the game gets a little more physical or if uh, they run into some penalty trouble. Matt Cook. Takes the puck in the sideboards. Looks, looks, looks. Feeds a nice pass straight across the pack line. And Pat could handle it. Jake Buschetti's battling in the corner. Number seven's trying to knock him off the puck, but uh, unable to do so. Another save by Anthony. Pat Lydon passes to Matt Cook. Matt Cook. Pucks on the back of the net. And Dave Crockett, Dan Crockett, I'm sorry, threw it back at him. Will McVeigh keeps it in his own. 
We got them running around their own zone here, Bob. Yeah, the uh, having the a Spartans, tough time getting it out. They finally get it to center. Oh, there's a wow! I can't believe that call that up called. on the shoulder. McVeigh beats him. Skating with the puck, tries to make a own move in his own end. He gives a giveaway there. They get a nice hard shot. Oh, again the Spartans are putting a little heat on here. Again off the pipe. Mike had near post covered well. Number 25, Channing Gorsick. He's got 10 goals in the year and showing a little bit why, why right now. Able to control the puck, beat people one-on-one. -on -one. Get the puck low. There's a fortuitous bounce for the Spartans. Just as we were running around our end, I think, uh, or they were, now we are. Nick Baradon breaks it out. Number 17, Michael Donofrio wraps it around and starts skating with the puck. There's an offside on the Spartans. Yeah, you wonder uh, if the Spartans are going to be able to keep up with this pace right now with a short bench. Um, they, they've played a lot of time in their own zone, and they don't seem to have a whole lot of depth to turn to here. So. Watch for that in the second and third period to be a bigger factor. Not only that, there's been a lot of whistles. I mean, not not a lot of whistles, and which has kept the uh, the pace just back and forth. There's Matt Boyd shot a nice and low, looking for a rebound, but uh, Mr. Anthony said there will be no rebound. Yeah, he's done a nice job in the net. Uh, none of, none of the goals that were scored were really his fault. Cassidy gets it, couldn't get the shot off. Logan Store comes out, looks for Cassidy in the middle, he can't do it. Number 82, Steven Vilke behind the net. It's taken away from by Logan Stork, who feels, oh, he looks for the, he looked for this uh, Panther coming up the middle, but was unable to do so. Patrick Woomer has the puck, gives it to his brother. Matt Woomer gets his feet moving, moves it over to, Austin Cassidy. Sean Allenbrand, oh, the whip de do, nice move by number 17, but Sean was able to. And we got an offside on a really not that close to the call. Yeah, the uh, Panthers got a little bit lucky there turning it over. It neutral zone. Luckily, uh, one of the Spartans was trapped inside and was about two strides from getting out on time. Got Crockett Porchetti and that Ackerman out there in the front line and uh, Sean Allen Brand and uh, Casey Colcom are our defensemen. Ackerman brings it back into his, his end. DD's it over to Casey who uh, just throws it to neutral, neutral zone. Ackerman over to Sean Allen Brand. Gives it to Puchetti, who dumps it deep. That's nice seeing the Panthers get the puck deep like yeah, that. that's a nice play. Nice quick pass, tip it deep, and get the forecheck working. Dan Crockett and Connor Ackerman on a nice pass to Ackerman. He just can't hold it. Getting a little uh, rough in the corner there. Comes Puchetti. Fired a blind pass to the point. Alan Brand Ackerman. Oh, watch out here. We got here. a two-on-one here. Nice save by Mike. Mike stuffed him down. That was actually a nice play, both ends. Good save by Ackerman. Nice play by the Hempfield Spartans. Well, you can see why number 25, Channing Gorsak, is their leading scorer. He showed a lot of patience coming down the left wing there, put a pass right on the tape of his line mate. Uh, but the line mate was a little too deep and ran out of angle, and, and Mike had it short side blocked off there. And the line change there. Ackerman tried to hit Cassidy, was unable to do so. So Will McVay takes the puck in the corner and delayed off sides. Austin Cassie brings it up to center. He's four check. 
Makes the pass over to Patrick Lydon. Lydon moves it up the boards and uh, Michael Combs. McCombs gets it deep. Nice play by Michael, keeping it deep. Number 17, Michael Donafrio passes it to his defensive partner. Oh, a giveaway by Donafrio to McCombs. Way to read the, the play, uh, Michael. Logan Stork has the puck. Cycling around. Double team in the corner. He comes out with the puck. Gives, gives it to McCombs behind the net. Michael. Michael cycles. And that brings us to the end of the third period. All in all, not a, a, a very fast first period. Not a lot of whistles. Uh, not necessarily a clean game, but not a bad game either, Bob. No, it was uh, not very physical. There weren't that many whistles, and uh, the Panthers controlled the play, but uh, there were some good scoring opportunities for the Spartans, and you'd, you'd like to see the Panthers tighten up a bit defensively. Okay, we're back and ready for the start of the second period. Uh, we got uh, Jack Gavitt, Matt Cook, and Nick Baradone on the front line, and Patrick and Matthew Woomer are defensemen. Cubs number 97, one, on, one and two with the pa Panthers. Patrick stayed in front of him. Good job there. Matt Cook's got the puck along the sideboards. Getting double teamed. Baradone, oh, turned it over. And nice save by Mike. Mike got way out of the crease there. It's like they teach you young goalies to do. Yeah, to Mike play. Ambrose looks like he's on his game here. And these are not the easiest games to play goalie when you don't see a, a regular amount of shots. Uh, but the shots he has seen have been pretty good scoring opportunities. Not only has he stopped them, but he's blocked the rebound. He's going to break away. He's got, he's got David Grimm coming down the middle. He passes the Grimm. Could not get through, got knocked away by the stick. Yeah, Logan uh, was able to make up some ground there. Very unselfish play too, trying to get the puck to David who was coming down the middle. Uh, but the goalie was ready for it. So we got McCombs, Grimm and Stork, Alan Brand and Colton. John gets the puck to the point, dumps it in low. Logan retrieves it, dumps it low for Mike McCombs. Mike gets hit from, uh, knocked over. Puck is dumped, cycled low again. Panthers run into themselves. Comes out to Casey Colton, who knocks it down. Keeping it low, this is good, smart hockey. Yeah, when the Panthers have run into trouble earlier in the year, it was, uh, I think they weren't doing enough of that. You know, they were playing too much, relying on run and gun hockey, and it didn't work against a few of the teams. There's David Grimm takes the body, number 12. We got it laid off sides on the Panthers. Number 33 gets back and retrieves the puck, Matthew Mitchell. Looks like uh, Panthers try to get a change there. And the Hedfield Spartans get the puck deep. Pachetti's got the puck. Leaves it there for Boyd. Boyd's got a full head of steam. He's going to be by number seven. Oh, Boyd goes the whole way. Wraps around, faked the goalie like he was going to go near post. Held on the puck, came back and threw it in the uh, far side. Yeah, nice move there. And uh, he beat him to the outside. Uh, far too often the kids all want to cut to the middle when they get to the opposing blue line. Matt Boyd took it wide and then had time to still bring it in. Showed good patience, took it across the crease, and uh, Tommy Anthony, the goalie, couldn't keep up with him and get the leg pad out to stop it. So it's 4 nothing now, Panthers, as we, uh, with 15 minutes approximately left in the second period. Daniel Crockett gets the puck coming out of his zone. McVeigh will... Over to Will McVeigh, chips it off the goalie. The goalie, I mean the, the uh, referee. It's taken behind the net by Pat Lydon, who works it over to his partner, uh, Will McVeigh. Over to Jake Pachetti, who fires it up to Dan Crockett. Coming back. Number five, uh, Tyler Hendrick for the Spartans dumped it deep, but it comes out of the zone again. And now we're back to number 17, Michael Donafrio. Again. Pat Lydon goes back to retrieve the puck. Throws it off his board. Mac Boyd got the puck. Bring it. 
feeds it to uh, Jake Pacchetti, who fires that hard wrist shot. Hit number 29 right in the letters. Nice job by the goalie there to control the rebound. Yeah, he got high in his crease. He's had a, he hasn't had a lot of help, but he's had a pretty nice game. Gavitt, Cook, and Berardo in the front line with Alan Brand and Matt Woomer. Face off drop. Comes out to the Spartans. Comes Matt Woomer. Who uh, shoots the puck across the net. Uh-oh, look out. Got a breakaway. Oh, what a nice save. Yeah. Nice. That was uh, the Spartans' score. leading scorer, Channing Gorsak. He snuck behind the defense there, and uh, Mike Ambrose did a real nice job of staying with them, and as he turned it to the backhand, moving side to side and making that look rather routine. Yeah, Mike is uh, definitely on his game. The last few games, he's been really, really tough to beat. Austin chips it up. Connor Ackerman, full head of steam. He's got Grimm and went behind the net. Ruud slid it out front. And Connor Ackerman gave uh, Cassidy the puck for a goal. That was just too much speed for the Spartans there. Yeah, they, they're getting caught. Uh, anytime the Panthers come out with speed, their defense are not able to keep up with our forwards here. Connor was trying to hit Grimm coming down the slot there. Passes to Cassidy. Ackerman throws it low to the corner to Cassidy. Ackerman's got the puck. Slides it out to Colcom. Colcom passes to Patrick Loomer. He tips the puck deep. Bouncing puck goes all the way in the corner. Cassidy comes out with a puck. Hits David Grimm in the middle of the ice. David comes in the middle, fires it on net. Held on to by Anthony. Nice play by Austin Cassidy. Um, Austin's the leading scorer on the Panthers, but in a 5-0 game, he, he's also working his own defensive corners, helping the defense break out. Jones taking a face off for the Panthers. Matt Cook gets the puck. Oh, we got, got a, a penalty, penalty coming up. Call. I'm not too sure. They got a trip. Uh, they accidentally got a, a stick into Matt Cook's skates there. Outside, they're calling the puck outside the zone. I'm not sure why. I think uh, I think what happened is the uh, sixth attacker went on for Mike Ambrose a little too soon, so they're bringing the uh, faceoff out the center ice. Correct call. So we got our first power play tonight. We got uh, Logan Stork and Sean Allenbrand at the points. Matt Boyd, Austin Cassidy, and uh, Connor Ackerman are your frontliners. Allenbrand at the front. He's got wide open. He's, doesn't shoot it. Gives it to Cassidy. Cassidy dumps it low to Boyd. Out to Sean. And looks like we got in the, in the crease on Connor Ackerman. Yeah, I think uh, Sean Allenbrand wanted to shoot that puck, but when he, he looked up, he saw there was nobody in front of the net and wisely uh, put it back down to his teammate along the sideboards. Minute 37 left in the penalty. Uh, it's 5 nothing Upper St. Clair in the middle of the second period. Logan Stork brings the puck in the end and regroups it. Comes to the center, hands it off to Sean Allenbrand. Connor Ackman behind the net. Stork. Logan takes a shot, almost tipped by Matt Boyd. Hempfield's able to, able to center it. Here comes number 97, is going to have a little one-on-one. -on -one. 
Tries to do a toe drag and loses the puck. Ackerman picks it up to Cassie. Cassie with some steam. Comes to the center. Sets it up. Sees Logan Stork on the back. Oh, nice back save. Forward. Nice pass. Logan just couldn't get everything on it. They dumped the puck. Number 97. Andrew Cazera is in after the puck. Number 25, Chan Korsak is on the uh, forecheck. They're losing their, using their leading scores for killing the penalty too there, Bob. Yeah, well, as I said earlier, if they start having to kill penalties with a short bench, it's going to be tough for them to keep up the pace. Number 17, nice wrist shot. He read the puck, read the play. We got a breakaway by Austin Cassidy. Uh, he fumbled the puck a little bit, could not get it in the short side. Number 17, Michael Donofrio lays the body on Pat Lyden. Donofrio has got the puck in the corner, throws it to nobody, really. Walk in, number three. Got number 17, Monk Donofrio at the point. Oh, the home run pass for Cassidy. Beats him with the, uh, on the glove, on the sixth side there, Bob, right? Yeah. Um, took it to the backhand, quickly pulled it back to the forehand, and uh, that time Tommy Anthony, the goalie for the Spartans, was got caught a little deep in his net, and you see why Austin Cassidy scores as many points as he does. He has the goal scorer's touch around the net. 10-21 left in the second period. It's 6-0 uh, in Upper St. Clair. Their defense, we just don't have the speed to keep up with our with our players, I don't think, Bob. No, they don't. Uh... Dan Crockett just whapped the puck out of the air. <laughs> yeah, I was a <laughs> little bit hypnotized by watching that. Uh... A little bit wide, but it's... <laughs> Nick Baradone. Yeah, it was below the the stick was below the crossbar. It would have been it would have counted had it uh, been on net. Got Matt Cook down low. He's, Crockett's helping him. Tried to feed it to a wide open. Patrick Lyden throws the puck, clears the zone. Cook comes down the middle, goes wide. Nice little cycle by Cook and Crockett there. Will McVeigh has the puck, feeds it up for boards. Will have to a player who dumps it in. Just got away with the offsides on that one. Will McVeigh passes it to himself, I believe, and then uh, Hempfield player gets it. Chips it out of the zone. Number 97 showed some good Andrew Cazera. He showed some good wheels. He scored. And he got a goal. He, he just uh, beat the defenseman wide. Chipped it up. Ran into Mike Ambrose, but the puck snuck in for uh, the Spartans' first tally of the game. That's a nice goal. Yeah, that's... Yeah, our camera, rip. man, uh, Lisa Ambrose is asking, did the uh, net go off the boards before or after the puck went in? And I guess we'll watch it at home. We'll be able to rewind it and determine that. And no matter what, it looks like uh, the Spartans got on the board 6-1. to one. Number 97 for the Spartans is one of the few kids that seems to have that same level of speed as many of the upper St. Clair skaters do, and you saw it right there. Austin Cassidy takes the puck. Got the puck to the top of the circle. Rip. Mike McCombs. Cassidy McCombs behind the net. Try to feed Logan Stork. Logan try to get one off. He does, eventually gets one off the puck's laying there. McCones back to Colcomb. Casey tries to slide the puck in. Casey plays the puck. 
Back to Austin Cassidy. Cassidy over to Logan Storff. Nice pass there. Mike McCombs takes the puck behind the net. Feeds the point. And they dump it deep. Casey Colcom has it behind the net. Oh, bad hit there from behind by number 17. He hit Casey from behind? Yeah. He's going to give himself yeah. two minutes. And Absolutely. Panthers put the power play out on the... Absolutely Ice. have to pull up there. They called a boarding, but that could have easily been a check from behind. I'd like to see the players be a little bit more respectful of the opponent in that situation and when they see the numbers pull up. Number 17, Justin Bartis, on the penalty for the Spartans. Hempfield wins the faceoff and clears the puck. Austin Cassidy get, gets the puck, starts up this. Throws it across behind the net over to Connor Ackerman. Ackerman chips it over to Cassidy. Back to Ackerman, shoot, score. Oh, very nice play there. Nice give and go. Nice pass by Ackerman. Another nice pass by, by Cassidy back to Ackerman for the goal. 7-1 Panthers. Yeah, what you saw there was the Spartans played a pretty passive box, killing the penalty, but both of their forwards got too high in the zone out near the blue line and left a lot of space in the middle, and Austin Cassidy and Connor Ackerman took advantage of it. Dave Crockett knocks her in. Dan, I'm sorry, Dan. Keep referring to uh, Dan as his dad. Nick Baradone's over there. Matt Wilmer keeps it in. The Baradone in the corner Give, gives one time to. Uh, Matt Wilmer keeps the, keep the pressure on the corner. There's a bear hug down in the corner. Matt Cook comes away with the puck. Bear, bear done. Again, kept deep. Hempfield's not, not able to get the puck out of the zone. Well, now they get it. Number five's chasing Matt Wilmer. Matt throws in the corner over to Jack Gavitt. Two nice saves there by Mike Ambrose. Uh, shots coming out of the corner. <coughs> We've got 534 left in the second period. 7-1 Upper St. Clair. We have uh, Matt Boyd, Jack Gavitt, David Grimm forwards, and Patrick Lydon and uh, Will McVeigh are the defensemen. Lydon moves it up. So Gavitt tries to chip it out of zone, unable to do it. Gorsek and Gavitt are fighting for it. Gorsek comes away with it, makes a nice pass over to his, uh, his opposing win, who can't handle the puck. And then uh, David Grimm steps in front of him and takes the puck. Comes Will McVeigh, trying to stick handle up the middle. Probably uh, again, McVeigh chips it over to Grimm. Grimm throws it off the boards and but Matt Boyd's gonna beat it before the icing Jack Gavitt's in front he chips it to Jack Jack can't get the stick on it nice Watch pass. out here that's by 97 to 82 oh there's a nice little play there but Mike Ambrose was all over it. you know when Mike's on uh, on his game like he is the last few weeks he doesn't he looks effortless effortless effortless, effortless. easy Effort. easy for you to effortless. say right yeah it's hard it's not hard it looks easy for him. How's that? Uh, and uh, today, you know, even some of these these uh, shots that could be tricky, 
uh, deflections and stuff, he's all over him. There's another example. Hemphill gets the puck behind the net. Casey. There's a yeah. scrum in front of the net. Panthers are getting a little sloppy in the defensive zone, and that, that can happen when you have a 7-1 lead, but hopefully it doesn't become habit-forming because uh, they won't get away with those kinds of lapses in your own zone against some of the stronger teams. Right. There's a quick shot by Logan Stork gets it, chips it out. They chip it right back in the zen. Patrick Woomer gets the puck behind the net, moves it over to Casey Colcom, who turns it over, unfortunately. Austin Casty oh, hits Logan Stork down the middle. Casey delayed himself, then passes it to himself. Does a nice play by Casey Colcom. Tries to get a goal, chips it up there, but the goal, Mr. Anthony, was all over that one. The glove hand. Good smart play by Casey there. He saw that he had a teammate offside, so he couldn't carry the puck across the blue line. He threw it in, waited for the teammate to tag up, and was able to be the first one to the puck. Tips it off to Puchetti over to Woomer. Matt Woomer chips it in front. Jack Gavitt, they just couldn't put it in. Uh, was that Gavitt or was that Pacchetti? That was Pacchetti on the rebound. That's nice because Pacchetti made the pass to Matt and went straight to the net. And by the time Matt got around there, Pacchetti was in there for the rebound. Teach your young players, once you give the puck, don't stand there and watch your pass. Do something. Hempfield tries to throw it around. Woomer chips it to Crockett. Number 25 coming down again. Chip behind the net. Dan Crockett gets it. Pushes it up to Connor Ackerman, who chips it around the defenseman. Oh, he couldn't get it out of the zone. Sean running. Sean uh, Allen Brand ran into their player behind. The number 25 has a nice quick shot, doesn't oh. he, Bob? Oh, Channing. You see why he's their leading scorer with that kind of release. Dan, oh. uh, Dan Crockett, nice goal there. He was able to uh, hold the puck just long enough, get the goalie to commit to do something. The goalie went down. He put a top uh, near side. Yeah, that was the first goal that uh, Tommy Anthony gave up where he really wasn't right on his angle. Uh, Dan Crockett made him pay for it. Nice short side right under the bar. It's 8-1 to one Panthers, two, 2 minutes and 51 seconds in the left in the second period. Will McVeigh has the puck, chips it over to Matt Boyd, can't pick it up. Hempfield may be a little outmanned, but their effort uh, has been good the whole game, Bob. I think they're out there battling for the loose pucks. Yeah, they, uh, they don't have the skill level that the Panthers have, uh, and they don't have the depth but their effort has been good. You know, for an eight to one game, they've had more scoring chances than uh, you would think in a game like this. Absolutely. I think, uh, and, and, you know, this could easy, they could easily have three or four more goals if Absolutely. Mike Ambrose wasn't on his and angle. There's another well. example of it. Uh, Mike Ambrose is making saves and making things look easier than they really are out there. You know, the Panthers are getting caught, maybe trying to think a little too much offense before they have possession and control in their own zone. And they're uh, leaving Mike uh, without a whole lot of help. There's a uh, 1.52 left in the second period, and it's a running clock now, Bob. I think it's a seven-goal differential uh, results in a running clock at uh, high school hockey into the second period, I believe. So, well, I've been impressed with that number 97 for the Spartans, Bob. Andrew. Cosiera, he, he scored the goal, and uh, he's had generated quite a few other opportunities, especially, uh, you know, right off the faceoff in that case, and then he wins another one right there. Yeah, I think he, I agree with you, he's done a real nice job at the faceoff. Well, 
Things getting a little silly a little, here. A uh, little pushing and shoving in front of the net. But you're right. He's won. Uh, he won the first one forward, the second one back. Both resulted in opportunities. Uh, scoring opportunities for his team. You know, the nice thing about it is Mike Ambrose, instead of like, you know, throwing a puck in the, puck in the corner or something, he's covering them. So they're not getting uh, second and third opportunities. Let's see what uh, Cozierra does on the faceoff this time from the le left side instead of the right side. Oh, that time Mike McCombs did a real nice job of winning that one. Logan Stork in the foot race. Oh, he gets the foot. Spartan player just chipped the puck off the stick. Logan gets it back. Puck is deflected high into the rafters. We get 18 seconds left. Now the clock stopped. Yeah, under the uh, running clock rules, when the puck goes out of play, there's a stoppage. Again, you saw the difference in speed, though. Logan Stork just uh, completely beat number 33 to the puck even though he started 15 or 20 feet behind him in, their, in the defensive zone. Again, Logan splits the, uh, splits the Spartan defense and the uh, puck is wrapped below. Showed out, goes through the uh, no wasting call there. Said the St. Clair player could have played it. And there we are at the end of the second period with the score, upper St. Clair eight, uh, the Hemphill Spartans one. We're gonna take a 15-minute uh, break to uh, clean the ice, and we'll be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Upper St. Clair versus Hempfield uh, varsity hockey game. We're here to start the third period, uh, and uh, the faceoff uh, dumped it deep in the St. Clair end. Matt Woomer retrieves the puck. Oh, he tries to chip it up to uh, the boards up to Connor Ackman, but not able to get it out. Sean Allenbrand leads, throws the puck for. Connor Ackman in it for an icing. I don't want it. <laughs> Bob, are you able to ascertain the shots? Uh, yes, the uh, shots, Upper St. Clair had 30 and the Spartans had 20. Like I said earlier, I think 20 shots for a team that's losing a game eight to one with a running clock, is, uh, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of shots. And a lot, they, of, a lot of those shots were high quality shots. Yeah. They, they were not from out at the blue line. Yeah, that, that tells me that uh, St. Clair is being a little sloppy in her own end. There's a little check there on Cassidy. Oh, watch out. Threw it up the boards of nobody. Again, a little bit sloppy here in the third period. Oh, there's a nice number 97 load, laid a little bit of lumber. Vortex's got that nice wrist shot. There it is. He, he really does snap it quickly and uh, with a lot on it. But, but there's another example of an 8-1 game where teams got 21-22 shots early in the third period. Uh, Panthers really are going to have to tighten up a little bit defensively when they play some of the stronger teams. Looks like uh, we have an equipment issue. Mike took that, looks like he took that shot right in the gobbler. It's all, it almost seems like the puck might be stuck in the mask, uh, the way they're acting. I don't know. They need some scissors. Go to the EMT to get some scissors. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it did get stuck in there. Referee Ed Schultz and the other referee is Tom Farmery trying to help uh, fix I'll the mask there. All I know is it looks like we got a bunch of equip eight equipment managers out there. Everybody's looking to see what's going on. We think the puck stuck in Mike's mask. But it looks like he, uh, yeah, they cut off his gobbler. And uh, something happened. The puck either broke the gobbler or got stuck in the gobbler. It was a hard wrist shot. Boyd won that face off. Our wing didn't get to the boards where Pat Lydon lays a little 
body. Boyd comes out of the puck, feeds it up to Stork. It's Logan Stork, one on one. Drops it for Matt Boyd. Little, little bit too fancy there, Bob. Uh, oh, that's good hustle back. A nice check by Logan. Look out. Crockett chips the puck ahead again for Logan. Stork carries the puck behind the neck, centers it, nobody's home. Number, number three, uh, Barthas uh, ices the puck. Well, that was a little bit better than the first shift. Logan Stork had a nice shift. Still a little sloppy in their own end. Yeah, the, uh, the Panthers are, are doing a, a little too much of the, the blind drop passes, and uh, when they work, they look great, but far too often, they don't work. All right, we got Pachetti, Cook, and Baradon, and uh, Patrick Woomer and Colcom on the ice. Looks Nick like uh, Coach Dennis Kirstein has changed up the lines a little bit here in the third period to experiment with different combinations. A shot by number seven. Baradon gets the puck, chips it out. Said Casey was being held a little bit behind the net. Then no call. A nice play by the by the Spartans. Colcom comes out, throws it. To, uh, and not a good shift there by the Panthers. No, it's not. Patrick clears the puck out to center ice. Sean got the puck deep. A oh, nice pass. This is what you want to see happen, Bob. You know, it started with Sean Allenbrand putting it deep, and now there's a good four check, and, and uh, the Panthers have controlled the puck. Pass tape to tape. Cassie over to Grimm. Grimm beats him wide. Shoots it a little bit wide. Looked like he took a slash on the hand right as he was releasing that shot. Austin Cassie's got his wheels moving. Just deflected out, causing him to lose it. Tricky shot there, shooting the puck as it yeah, was we're rolling. Not, we're not protecting our puck good in the, uh, look at that, that was some nice. Uh, pretty much a back and forth game right now, Bob. Yeah. It, turnover, turnover, turnover. It looks more like uh, a pond hockey game at this point where everybody's trying to think offense and Maybe doing a little too much themselves. That's what happens in 8-1 games with a bunch of kids at the high school age. We have 10-18 left in the third period. Again, Upper St. Clair winning 8-1. Puck left the ice, so the clock has stopped. So we have a running clock otherwise.
Will McVeigh made a nice play getting that puck deep. Matt Boyd cuts it off the corner, uh, tries to throw it down to uh, Dan Crockett. Oh, what uh, a shot. Once again, Dan came in and beat the goalie near side. I think that for the goal, I think uh, yeah, probably going to be Matt Boyd on the assist for that one. Yeah, I think so. Matt made a nice play along the boards, put it down into the quarter to Dan. And Dan has essentially had a, a two-on-one coming out of the corner, and he saw the short side was open and, again, uh, buried it just like he did in the second period. Boyd's battling hard for the puck. He's got it. It's been all over the puck this shift. Walks out. Can't get the score. Number 82. Dumps it in deep. Pat line for the Panthers. Ford Chef is having the puck. Watch his wrist shot. Matt Boyd takes it for the Panthers. Knocked off the puck. Dave, Dan Crockett picks it up. Another hard shot near post. Comes score, Jeff. Watch out. Gives the puck up. Number 97. Score, Jeff, again. Watch this wrist shot he has. Hands on it. He leans on the stick pretty good and ripped that shot, but it was right in the uh, chest of uh, Mike Ambrose. You saw Gorchak make the uh, pass up to number 97, Coziera, and it went off Coziera's stick, and I think that's a sign of the being a little fatigued because earlier in the game, Coziera seemed to have the legs moving, would have taken that pass and gone in with a lot of speed. Still a little sloppy in her own end. Casey Kokum comes out with the puck. Starts to get his feet moving. Gives it up to Pichetti. And we go. have a penalty. Yeah, charging penalty on Jacob Pichetti. Got 7.33 left in the third period. So this will likely be a three minute penalty taking while there's a running clock in the third period. But it isn't. Yeah, I think it should be a three-minute penalty. I think you're you're right on that, Bob. Uh, yeah, they noticed it now that uh, that with a running clock, a minor is a three-minute penalty, not a two-minute penalty. So we'll see what Hempfield can do in the power play. For our penalty killers out here, we got to have Austin Cassidy, Mike McCombs, uh, Sean uh, Allen Brand and Matt Woomer are defensemen. Matt goes back and gets the puck. Chips it up the boards. Austin Cassidy chips it out of the zone. Comes Gorchev. Got a three on two here. Uh, tried for the home run for Austin. Couldn't get it. Goalie moves the, the puck into the corner. Puck is being carried by number 17, uh, Matthew Donofrio, their defenseman, captain of the Spartans. Near side, Austin gets the puck, or uh, chips it into Donofrio. Donofrio regroups the puck to number 65, William Hayden. Allen Brand goes back, ices the puck. Again, it's 9 to 1 Panthers. We've got a power play for the Hempfield Spartans. Long stretch pass. Nice pass there by the Spartans. Do a little uh, new or nice hard wrist shot by Gorchev. We've seen that all night. Matt Wilmer picks the pocket of the defenseman in the corner. Moves it up the boards. Connor Ackerman gets the puck. 
Connor d tries to. That Woomer runs over number three. Battling for the puck, pushes it up to Jack Gavitt. Throws a little nice pass, pass up the there. boards to Connor Ackerman. Connor catches up to it, but is unable to. Uh, Donna Freya tries a home run pass to number three, Justin Partis. Donna Freya's got a little, uh, little dipsy do there. Hits number 24 coming in the zone. Nice play by Pat Lydon to block that pass. Hempfield keeps it deep. The, the penalty is over. Uh, Logan Stork has the puck against the sideboards. Oh, Jack Gavitt does a nice job chipping it out. Tries oh. a shot. A very nice play there by Jack Gavitt. Poking it by the defenseman, using his speed, walking in with a good hard low shot. But again, uh, Tommy Anthony did a pretty nice job of uh, taking the angle away and controlling the rebound. With the, with the exception of uh, Dan Crockett coming down that wing, uh, Tommy Anthony's been able to pretty much stop all of those first shots on the rush like that. Boyd take a shot from the far, far side. Twenty-five Gorchev gets run into by Crockett. We've kind of uh, relinquished the front of the net. Nick Baradon gets the puck. Looks like we got an ice on the uh, Panthers with 3.28 left. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's getting, oh, we got a timeout uh, being called here by Upper St. Clair. I, uh, yes, it is to get uh, backup goalie Adam Seaton some playing time. Yeah, the crowd, uh, I think that's a mutual uh, round of applause. Number one, for uh, the job that Mike Ambrose has done tonight, but also uh, some encouragement for Adam Seaton, who's the uh, freshman goaltender, who's uh, backing up Mike tonight. Yeah, Adam was called up because of an injury to uh, the regular backup goalie, Tyler Finn. Oh, Dave Crockett just made a nice move there. Or Dan Crockett, I'm sorry. I keep calling him Dave. Dan Crockett made a nice shot there. Looking for the hat trick. The senior. Crockett has the puck. Takes a tough angle shot. Here comes George Gorchev down the uh, right wing side. Trying a little dude, dipsy doodle. Doing a pretty good job of it, too. Comes Sean Allenbrand. Oh, tries to pass across the middle. It's a three on one here. Oh, nice. Did Adam get a piece of that? I think he did. I yeah, think so he that got... would be his first official save as Barcy member. And there's a check from behind. Needless check. It wasn't hard, but it was needless. And uh, pretty much uh, maybe a frustration check on behalf of number 25. Channing uh, Gorchev, who's actually played a very nice game. Yeah, it's another example of when a guy's got his back to you, you, you just can't go through with the check, and it wasn't anything malicious. He didn't have a lot of speed, but it was unnecessary, and the refs uh, called boarding, but again, could have called a uh, check from behind. All right, so the power play unit here is uh, Patrick Woomer, Sean Allenbrand, uh, Matt Cook, David Grimm and uh, Jack Gavitt. Kempt wraps around the field and we're gonna get a uh, nice clear by the Henfield uh, Spartans. We got 138 left in the game. Uh, did they, they gave him the three minute penalty this time, which I don't understand, but 
Yeah, they did on the last one as well, Bob. They, uh, they adjusted it after the play started. Sean Allenbrand blocks the shot. Really not getting anything controlled here. We need to regroup behind the net. Break the puck out. Sean breaks it out. It waved off the icing, said the defenseman could play the puck. We've got 57 seconds left in the game. It looks like we got the... Uh, looks like Dan Crockett's out there with a chance to maybe get a hat trick. Ooh, sneaky shot there. Yeah, he's going to shoot it from everywhere. Chance to get a hat trick here. Patrick Boomer kicks it to uh, Gavitt. Gavitt tries Ooh. to shoot it. Nice hard shot by Jack Gavitt. That's two good hard shots this period by Jack coming off that right wing 33 side. 33 seconds left. And uh, we got Crockett out there as a center. I'm not sure why they maybe put him at the point. We'll try to get him one last uh, rip. 26 seconds left in the game. 19 seconds left in the game. I don't know if... Good drop the puck here. Road oh, corner. bad hit from behind there. Oh, totally unnecessary. And we have uh, clock stop with three seconds left. Up. They let it run off, and it's the uh, end of the game. The score of the upper St. Clair Panthers 10, or 9, excuse me. They're changing the clock on me, the scoreboard on me, and the uh, Hempfield Spartans 1. Bob, any final comments? Well, I mean, you could see that clearly the Panthers were the stronger team and had more talent. Uh, you, you'd still like to see them clamp up on the defensive end a little bit, giving up far too many shots to a team that didn't have nearly the skill level that they did. And their next game is next week uh, up at North Allegheny. And, uh, you know, North Allegheny is one of the top teams in the AAA division, so hopefully the Panthers will uh, put a little more emphasis in playing a stronger game on the defensive side. That's it for tonight, and uh, we'll see you uh, next time here on the uh, Panthers Hockey Network. And here's the... Uh, Yeah, the Panthers uh, give a little nod to the fans who came out here tonight. Uh, there are a few fans watching uh, a game here on a uh, Thursday night. And uh, that's about it from here. Bob, any final comments? No, it's uh, it's a win, and, and, you know, it's two points in the standings, which are important, but uh, it was far from our best game of the year. All right, thank you. Goodbye.